Hello Gemini. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for December 2020. This is a general reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's start off with a couple of messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle Deck. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides, show me messages for my Gemini friends, please. What's Gemini got going on in December? What do they need to know? Show them. Take that one. What they need to see. Gemini. One more. Thank you. All right. Bottom of the deck. We'll look at it here and now. You need to focus on the present moment. Don't look at the past and don't look at the future. Look at the door that you're in right now. That's that message. Because you do a lot of thinking anyway, Gemini. <laughs> so don't think about it. All right. Between worlds. Who got this? Uh, I believe it was Aries. And chaos and conflict. So Between Worlds is obviously about moving from the darkness to the light. It is also about leaving a situation and going into a new beginning. But when you're between worlds, you need to focus on the present moment because you have not made a decision about what your future plans are. You're just kind of in limbo. You're just waiting. You're possibly going with the flow, with the ocean here. And chaos and conflict is everything is a mess. The stripes are falling off of this zebra. I don't even know what it is, but everything is down on the ground and it's a mess. And the zebra looks a little bit frustrated. So what is going on, Gemini? And look, you have triple threes. Triple threes, to me, would be a third party. Hmm. That is the Holy Trinity number, so maybe that is this, a sign that the divine is here. All right. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, show me messages for Gemini, please. What is Gemini? Well, we're starting off with the world. So you have definitely ended something here. You are looking at your options. Page of Cups is starting something new. This could have something to do with a creative ability. Hmm. Let me get one more. Or you have a message coming in from someone that maybe you're going to go in a new direction and you're kind of thinking about going in this new direction with this person. Pages are new to me. Something's at the very beginning stages. This one. Ten of Cups reversed. Separation. Okay. So some of you may be in separation from a child, but that's not going to resonate with a lot of people either. So... You're done. Completion, lesson learned. You have a message coming in or you're telling someone that you want to separate because you're starting something new. Hmm. Show me. This is uh, four fixed, which is Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. <laughs> this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this is Pisces. Show me Gemini, please. All right. Well, we'll take this one because it flipped up, but we're not taking all of this madness. Nine of Wands, sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius has been coming up in, in the cards a lot because we're heading into that season. But the Nine of Wands is exhausted. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I can't do this anymore. So show me Gemini, please. What are you tired of dealing with? Four of Wands. Got separation again. More chaos. Chaos and conflict within the family, with a child, in the home. 
possibly thinking about starting se- getting separating with someone and getting into a new relationship show me you're tired of something that's going on within the family it's like an endless cycle a never-ending story the fool reversed aries aries again here um someone is acting foolish something someone is acting childish as well someone refuses to grow up but i'm also getting fear of separation fear of separation hmm or separation is too risky so it looks like you're tired of dealing with the situation and you want it to be over show me gemini please show me gemini funny because you must be dealing with an aries because aries got that card and you have two aries cards here show me gemini you ended something with this person and now they're reaching out judgment somebody definitely made a bad decision or they're acting foolishly or someone's regretting what they did show me gemini please <laughs> do you hear that microwave beeping oh the little things drive me crazy can somebody just open up the microwave door please communication you got a lot of communication coming in i feel like this is somebody from your past give me one more messages fun flirty playful messages someone you're in separation with and with you being tired of dealing with this person oh yeah seven of wands you're saying no you're done with something you've graduated you've moved on and someone someone wants a second chance bottom of the deck two of cups is reversed as well yeah something's over here under that we have you realized your value realized your worth seven of coins you do not want to put any more effort into this situation yeah all right so this person seems to be causing some kind of drama i think I feel like you're putting an end to something finally. That's what I'm hearing. Because look at the way that this reading is laid out, right? This is your past, this is your present, and this is your future. <laughs> so you got an ending and a separation, but then you got an apology here. And somebody said, hey, can you come back? And you were tired of dealing with this situation or tired of this person repeatedly messaging you, maybe even begging you. So you went back and you made a foolish decision to go back to this person because you broke up again. Then we come into the future and here comes this person again with more communication, another passionate message or something that they want to say to you. And you're undecided about whether you want to talk to this person or not. This is what all this chaos and conflict is about and why you're in between worlds. But look what you're doing. Seven of Wands, this is blocking messages. That's very, very clear. I do not want to hear from you. I do not want to talk to you. So are you undecided about blocking these messages? Because if you're in between worlds... See, the world card was your first card out, which tells me that this is over, whatever it is. But if you're in between worlds, it's like the full card is here. Your new beginning is here. You're heading into the light. But at the same time, you're considering going back to the past. And you got the two of cups here as well. The nine of pentacles is my single card. Single, independent, realize that, you know, as soon as you decide to respect yourself, then all of a sudden this person wants you back. Hmm. Very interesting layout, Gemini. Chariot, new direction. Also pulled into two different directions. Every time I see that chariot, it always, it always makes that, those horses on that chariot are pulling in two completely different directions. So do you return to the past and give this person a third chance, a fourth chance, a fifth chance, whatever it is? 
or do you make this decision to have your new beginning, put an end to it finally, and move on? That's what seems to be the conflict. You're at a crossroads, Gemini, about ending something. I feel like you are definitely not speaking to this person right now, but they know that they made a big mistake. They've acted foolish. Somebody won't grow up here. There's a lot of childish energy here, or you're just dealing with a child. So your advice is to don't worry about what happened in the past and don't worry about what's going to happen in the future if this person is not part of your life. Because not that I feel like you're worried. I just know that you're a Gemini and I know that you think a lot. You need to focus on the present moment and what is going to make you happy at this time. All right, let's see what they did. <laughs> Show me Gemini, please. Gemini for December 2020. You're separating from someone in the month of December. Show me Gemini, please. Okay. Intervention, rescue, others involved. All right. Karmic third party relationship lesson. I do feel like you've learned. I, that's what I'm feeling like happened because the world card is learning your lessons. You've learned your lessons because you've done this with this person repeatedly. And now you're stopping this pattern here. Intervention. This person may have some type of addiction or something like that. Show me one more for Gemini, please. That always makes me think of that show intervention, like someone needs help. Soulmate, similar friendship or romantic partner. Remember that this could be a friend as well. It doesn't always have to be a romantic relationship, but I definitely feel like it's a family member. This person wants you back. Right now, I'm saying that you're not making the decision, but I feel like even when you do make this decision to finally go down a new path, this person's not going to take it well. They're going to give you a hard time. But I feel like you need to realize your self-worth here and realize that you deserve better. With this being a soulmate and the world card being here, look, I mean, you got the judgment card, the world card, and the fool. This is over. This is over. There's, there's no... You're just going to keep making the same mistakes repeatedly with this person. I don't know how many times you've rekindled with this person, but I feel like it's several. And they just won't grow up, won't get it. Climb out of a hole. He's trying to climb out of a hole. Oh. Or looking up to the light, looking up to the light. Let me pull a couple of Kipper cards and see what we got from that. Hmm. Show me Gemini, please. Show me Gemini. I feel like you want to so bad not return to the past. But, you know, let's say there must be love here. You must be with this person for a long time because of that Ten of Cups. There's that coffin. It's over. Done. Signed, sealed, nailed shut community. Show me one more. Uh, you're telling everyone that it's over. You're telling all of your friends and family that it's over. Or you're moving in with friends and family because somebody's moving out here. Show me Gemini. I'll take that one. Unexpected income. This is over unexpectedly, possibly for this person. They don't, You're kicking somebody out. You're kicking somebody out here. And they probably don't have any place to go. You might even have to give this person money to, to get out of your hair. Somebody needs, somebody needs help, but it's financial help. You're tired of this same old story. You're tired of helping this person. You're tired of the fact that they refuse to get on the right path. They refuse to grow up. They refuse to act like an adult. Because I got another child, child, child. Man, you have to come to somebody's rescue. 
that's what that so we might be in the military here there's a lot of military cards I got the seven the nine the chariot somebody's homeless or is going to be homeless I, I I don't know Gemini I feel like you don't care I feel like you're I feel like you're just done with something or you've had enough I've had it up to here that's <laughs> come here my mother used to always say that I've had it up to here and then she would put her hand all the way up at the top of her forehead <laughs> I've had it up to here with this crap <laughs> oh my goodness show me the final message for Gemini please lay a solid foundation all right card six what was the numbers that we had here 19 27 39 so it's a 10 12 a 9 10 a 4 sorry i forgot to look at the 07 20 2009 hmm all right anyway so I've been reading these from the book just because people like it. But a solid foundation to me would be you moving on, moving in a new direction and laying a solid foundation for something else. The Beaver Spirit is a work card. Um, let's see what it says. Because beavers work. That's what they do. They're like bees. All right. Here it is. Beaver Spirit is here to tell you about a power living within you that is born of spirit, the source from which all life arises. This is the power to establish the sacred connection with the universal consciousness so you can deliberately co-create the world you desire. So, yeah, that's exactly what you need to do. You need to just finally end something and create what the world you desire, what you want. Know that it takes work, determination, and sustained effort to co-create and lay a solid foundation for your dreams. If, with spirit as your partner... You bring the twigs and branches of your intentions and desires and spread them across the river of time. You'll be amazed at what you can do. You will find that you can even change the direction of the flow of life. You can ensure that your world will be prosperous and purposeful, filled with love and joy, and rich with magic and meaning. That which you desire will come to you and remain sustainably if you build on a sturdy foundation. This is, yeah, something here is on shaky ground. Hmm. Um, keep your intention and energy consistent and deliberate, using all of your resources and the energy of this wonderful, productive time. Have faith, for with spirit to co-create with you, your success is assured. Spirit is your partner, helping you along as you change the course of your life in the way your heart desires. And you are, that's exactly what this is. You're changing the course of your life. This could be a family member. This could be a family member who just constantly moves in and out with you or something. There's something here that you're tired of and you're about to put an end to it. What was on the bottom of the deck there? Drastic. Yep. Extreme harsh cut off. You're about to drastically end something. It's going to shock someone. When you tell them no, or no, you can't come back here for the 10th time, or no, I don't want to, I'm not giving you any money. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know, Gemini. I am going to leave that there. That was interesting. I do hope I was able to help someone with this reading today. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.